what's going on everyone it is b avery here and i want to thank you for tuning in to another episode of just my opinion where it is my favorite part of the week or one of my favorite parts of the week where we go over the box office results for the past weekend it's been a week since i've seen you guys i'm so sorry i have been absent not going to make any excuses but we're just going to go ahead and jump into the box office results mainly for avengers infinity war so for the weekend of may 11th through may 13th the second weekend of may we're going to go over i would say the top five but now we're going to go over the top 10 just real quick because you know we got to talk about black my lovely black panther so coming in at number one we have avengers infinity war that was pretty much a given um it dropped 45 percent from uh last week still in 400 not 400 4000 474 theaters avengers infinity war is 62 million seventy eight thousand forty seven dollars and of course i'm going to come back to that uh coming in at number two is melissa mccarthy's life of the party um this is a film that i was interested in but i have not seen it just yet i do plan on seeing it this week um and it did pretty good as well it brought in 17 million dollars to be exact, seventeen million eight hundred eighty-six thousand seventy-five dollars, um, and that is pretty good. Right now, worldwide, it's to twenty-one million. What I'm trying to do right now is uh, just check on the budget real quick, just to see what that could possibly be, and just give me one moment. So the budget for this film was thirty million dollars. Seems a little expensive, but you know, Melissa McCarthy, she does have um an audience so um you know you know my rule of three uh this needs to make at least um was it 90 million dollars to see a respectable profit so that's coming in at number two coming in at number three is right behind it i mean like right around 200 uh k was the difference is gabrielle union's breaking in um i was gonna see this last week but i decided to wait uh to see this yesterday with my mother on mother's day and happy belated mother's day to all the lovely mothers out there we love you guys very much uh breaking in with gabrielle union brought in seven with well, universal um life of the party where was warner brothers uh gabrielle union 17 million six hundred and thirty thousand two hundred and eighty five dollars at twenty five uh hundred theaters um i will be i'm not going to get my opinion on the film i did see it i will be uh providing a review uh, that's probably right now it is Monday night that I'm filming this. This is probably going to go up on my channel Tuesday evening uh, when I get off of work. I'm actually shoot it right after I shoot this video, but i got a lot of videos coming up. Uh, I'll talk about that later, but it's going to come up tomorrow. My Deadpool review is going to be up in the morning. This is going to be up tonight with some other stuff, but $17 million from Gabrielle Union. <laughs> Uh, the budget for this was only six million dollars uh produced by will packard um you know he does a lot of black films uh that's extremely cheap so much cheaper than uh, life of the party coming in at number four is overboard at nine million dollars 9.8 uh, quiet place a quiet place is still in the top five coming in at 6.4 million dollars i feel pretty is number six bringing in another 3.8 million dollars and let's see what it is right now uh, uh worldwide is at 43 million dollars it then needs to make a lot more money i've talked about that in the past really don't think amy schumer has a pool i'm thinking the train wreck was mostly did well because of the marketing with lebron james that came out in 2015 rampage coming in at number seven a movie that i wanted to do well it dropped 25 percent still in 2500 uh theaters brought in another 3.4 million dollars so Right now, domestically, this is $89 million. Uh, foreign international is 308. So it's at $398 million. Okay, not bad. Not, you know, they're not throwing part as nothing, but not bad. It is made three times the budget, which should have been $360 million. Uh, last week, I wanted to reach $400 million, so it really reached $400 million. Um, it, right now, globally, worldwide, it is at $398 million. So, um, unless the studio spent a stupid amount of money on the marketing campaign, it looks like this film right here made um, made the studio a respectable profit. But let's see. I want to see what it would be for. Yeah. If I want to make four times the budget, they need to make four hundred and eighty million dollars. I seriously doubt it is going to make that unless there is some major territory um, that I haven't looked up that it hasn't opened up in yet. 
uh, but I don't really care too much. Coming in at number eight is Tully, bringing in a number, another $2.2 million. And coming in at number nine is Black Panther, still in the top 10. And what week is this for Black Panther? This is the 13th or the 14th week. Let's see here real quick. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. So, yeah, I could have just looked on the right. I didn't see that over there. So this is the 13th, uh, the 13th week this past week, I believe. So that is what's up. Uh, Black Panther is bringing in another. What was it? Uh, Two point two million dollars. And coming in at number 10 is uh, what is this RBG. I thought that was Ready Player One. I don't know what this is. Um, RBG. What is that? Anyway, it's kind of a weird looking poster. Um, but of course, let's go over to Infinity War real quick. Uh, right now, Infinity War World, it, it has set some records this weekend. Uh, right now, globally, it is at $1.6 billion, one billion six hundred and seven million five hundred and forty thousand one hundred and thirty dollars um, This right now, it makes it the most profitable. Oh, not, I'm excuse me, not the most profitable. Um, it, it, it grossed the most out of any other superhero comic book movie of all time. It is also the number one. Uh, Marvel Cinematic Universe in their MCU with this being I believe the 19th film so that's what's up that is expected internationally um, it did um, 1 billion 59 million so far domestically it is at 548 since we're looking at foreign um, it you know the big thing with China is it opened up in China on the 11th this past Friday and this is the second biggest opening of all time in China coming in at 200 million dollars uh, to be exact, well, it's not exact, but you know that's that's the numbers that they're providing. Uh, you know, next is South Korea at 84 million. United Kingdom is 82 million. I was on Box Office Mojo uh, before. Right now, I am looking at thenumbers.com. That's the dash numbers.com. Uh, South Korea 84 million. Uh, right now, United Kingdom 82 million, and Brazil 55 million. So it is doing fairly well um, in the foreign markets. Um, the question is, will it reach $2 billion? And I really think it will reach that $2 uh, billion mark. I'm very excited. I can't wait. We're going to find out. Now, something that is very interesting to me and goes back to some conversations I was having in the comments section the past couple of weeks with some of my subscribers and viewers. So uh, shout out to you guys. So, um, you know, me, I was just saying to myself, oh, um, if it actually before I go on there, let me uh, let me jump over to Black Panther real quick. Let's talk about Black Panther real quick. So with Black Panther internationally right now is at six hundred and forty five million. That's not great, but it's not bad either. It's kind of in the middle as far as all the bigger openers. Domestically, it is at six hundred and ninety six million dollars. Now I've been debating back and forth. I was like, man, I really want Infinity, not Infinity War, Black Panther to reach that $700 million mark domestically. And I said that it's going to be close. And it is right there at it, guys. It is like 350, 300, um, I said 300. It's like $3 million away, $3,500,000 away, something like that. Uh, math may be a little wrong, but a little more than $3 million away. I don't know if it's going to make it because it's already out on home video for digital tomorrow. I'm going to get my copy. Black Panther is going to be out on video. I don't think they're just going to snatch it from theaters unless people are just not paying for it anymore. It's still in the top nine. So that wouldn't make any sense. But uh, I really wanted to reach seven hundred million dollars. But we just don't know. Right now, it is at one point three billion dollars. One uh, one billion three hundred and forty two million dollars. Now to tie Avengers Infinity War together. And Black Panther. Let me close this window out real quick. And I don't think I'm going to need this stuff. I'm going to need this one. So, Avengers Infinity War and Black Panther. Now, before Avengers Infinity War was released in theaters, I was like, oh my gosh, guys, Black Panther was so amazing. It looks like from the trailers and all the marketing material that there's going to be, this is going to be like a Black Panther 1.5. I mean, we got our, we got to see everything uh, that had to do with, you know, just the lineage and the culture and uh, the pride and the background and the backstory of Wakanda. But in Infinity War, we're going to get the, uh, the, mil the military um, achievements that they've accomplished over the years and decades and centuries and things like that. 
Um, you know, they're going to have a war there. The the Russo brothers were saying that Infinity War, at least the last hour of the movie, is going to be in Wakanda. But when we saw the film, that's not what happened. So I was just thinking going into it that like, OK, all the black people that saw Black Panther three, four, five times, they're going to go see Infinity War three, four, five times, too. If Infinity War has a lot of Black Panther in it, well, we saw the movie, and I think the, uh, you know the consensus is in that Wakanda was rushed. Everything with Black Panther was rushed or either watered down, so you don't have that same crowd of like black people and people that were just so in love with a Black Panther that are in love with Infinity War, and so. Um, you know, everybody was saying it's just not just well, not everybody, but people were saying it's just not going to do as good because Black Panther had no competition. Black Panther has legs. That's one of the main things I was complaining about many months prior. Just saying that I think Disney was done for releasing solo on uh, Memorial Day weekend. I thought they should have pushed it out to August. And I was mad at 20th Century Fox for moving Deadpool from January, not from June 1st to May 18th. And so I honestly thought that this past weekend, Black Panther was just going to still stay on top. I mean, Affinity War was just still going to stay on top as far as pacing is concerned with Black Panther. But that's not the case, guys. That is not the case. So, of course, Avengers Infinity War won the first weekend and the second weekend, but it did not win the third weekend. Now, I love my my, my showdowns. I'm on Box Office Mojo right now looking at the opening weekend showdown between the six biggest openings of all time for any movies, which is Star Wars The Force Awakens 2015, Jurassic World. What year did that come out? 2015 as well. Excuse me. Sorry about that. Um, Avengers Infinity War 2012, Star Wars The Last Jedi 2017, uh, Black Panther, of course, this year, Infinity War is out, you know, right now. Um, comparing all these right now, um, now Infinity War won over all those opening weekend and 257, breaking the record. Uh, Force Awakens won over second weekend, 149, but, um, you know, Infinity War beat Black Panther in the second weekend. 114 was the opening weekend, sec I mean, was the second weekend for Infinity War, 111. 111 million was the second weekend for Black Panther. But when we get to the third weekend, that's where Black Panther is starting to pull off. Uh, $62 million for the third weekend for Infinity War, but $66 million for Black Panther. So around $4 million more. So Black Panther is now outpacing um, uh, Black Panther. And that's not just on the weekend front, it's also on the daily front, too, because of course it won that following Monday of the opening weekend because that was President's Day, so everybody was off work. But when you go down to, let me switch it up. I'm doing this by day. Let me do by day the, the numbers. Okay. So in, so Infinity War was barely winning day to day versus Black Panther by like 200,000, 1 million, 2 million. Not much. Okay. But when you get down to, where is it at? When you get down to the 16th day in theaters, which was this past Saturday, that's when Black Panther starts to put, no, Friday, Black Panther had 16 million, Infinity War had 15 million. Saturday, Black Panther had 30 million, Infinity War had 26 million. Sunday, excuse me, Black Panther had 19 million, 19 million, 996,000. Infinity War had 19 million, 152,000. So, uh, Infinity War, uh, Black Panther is winning on the on pacing for now, but Black Panther, I mean, Infinity War is still ahead by around forty seven million dollars because it has such a big first week opening weekend, you know, two fifty seven opening weekend versus two or two Black Panther opening weekend. So the question is, is will Infinity War reach seven hundred million domestically? Also, will it actually catch Black Panther? We don't know. It will be very close. Now, I will be very disappointed if Infinity War does not make at least six hundred and fifty million dollars domestically. Um, that is still very great. It is. Um, it is very great. That's not bad. I mean, if it makes that and it just stops right there, that's not a bad thing. That's still a hell of a lot of money and the studio should be proud of themselves. But with the anticipation of going into Infinity War and all the expectations which they were met mostly, but not entirely, because I said that Wakanda and Black Panther was watered down and it was rushed to, it would be slightly disappointing because it has the potential to make so much more. I mean, so did, Aven I'm saying, so did Black Panther, but I'm not going to give another uh, review part seven about that. 
But these are just some of the things I think about. So I really want both Infinity War and Black Panther to make $700 million domestically. I just do. Um, and I, I just do. Um, whether Black Panther makes more than Infinity War, I really don't care. Uh, but I want... I, Infinity War should make more. Um, I just feel like the Russo brothers and Marvel and company and whoever is involved, Kevin Feige, Bob Iger, Alan Horn, I just really feel like they made a mistake by rushing through Black Panther the way they did in the film. But anywho, let's continue to move on with the box office uh, results. Now, if we look at... Uh, I'm not going to read that. That's kind of common sense. If we look at all time right now, worldwide... Infinity War set another record. It is at number five right now at $1.6 billion. Only thing above it is our Avatar, Titanic, the For Star Wars, The Force Awakens, Jurassic World. Infinity War is going to be number four. It's going to be uh, Jurassic World in this coming week. That's just a given. Common sense. Will it reach Star Wars, The Force Awakens and reach that $2 billion mark? I think it will reach the $2 billion mark. Will it surpass the Force Awakens? I'm not sure. Will it pass surpass Titanic? That would be a stretch because Titanic is at 2.1 billion, almost 2.2. I think Star Wars, are for, I mean, I think uh, Infinity War will reach 2 billion and may surpass the, um, the Force Awakens. Now, right now, Black Panther has done another great thing. Um, it has passed. I mean, it was going to be number eight, but Infinity War shot past it, so it's number nine now. But Black Panther did surpass Harry Potter in the Deathly Hollows Part Two. That movie had one point three one billion three hundred and forty one million. Right now, Black Panther is at one billion three hundred and forty two million. So give it up to Black Panther. I'm trying to clap away from the microphone because you know guys with headphones. Uh, sorry about that, but great job, Black Panther. It is right now at number. Um, and number nine, the only thing that I think that can knock it out of the top 10 this year is possibly uh, The Incredibles 2 or Star Wars, the solo movie or whatever, um, which I haven't seen yet, but a few people have. Um, who knows? Uh, who knows? Who knows? Who knows? And so, yeah, so Avengers Infinity War is uh, number five and it will at least go to number four. Black Panther is um, at number Nine. I don't think it's it's not gonna pass Avengers Infinity. I mean Avengers Age of Ultron at one point four billion unless those Saudi Arabia numbers come through. But I'm not going to hold my breath. And just lastly, uh, I like to look at the um, all-time domestic. Black Panther right now is at number three at six ninety six. Avengers Infinity War is number eight at five forty eight. But we all know that's going to uh, improve. And lastly, but not least, guys, I just have to look at the adjusted for inflation real quick. And I think Black Panther is still going to be always at number 30. So I don't think it's going to catch Marvel's The Avengers at 704 adjusting for inflation. Um, but that is OK. And guys, I think that is going to be it for my box office numbers. This video is not going to be as long as they usually do because I do get requests that I can shorten my videos. And I pretty much covered everything that I wanted to cover. If I did leave anything out, please let me know down in the comment section below. But guys, that is just my opinion. Thank you for tuning in. What did you think about these numbers? What intrigued you? Do you think Infinity War is going to beat Black Panther domestically? Do you think Infinity War is going to reach $2 billion worldwide? Let me know down in the comment section below. Let's get this conversation going and keep it flowing. If you like this video, go ahead and give me the thumbs up. And if you don't, that's fine. But you can still subscribe on my channel you can also go to my website check me out there and uh bookmark and also look me up on social media facebook instagram and twitter is right there at the bottom of the screen and uh, uh excuse me i provided a link for all that good stuff there in the description box below and guys i'm right there at 5,000 subscribers as i'm recording this video i'm not there yet uh, but please help me get there i would really appreciate it and before you go don't forget that my name is brandon keith avery and that's just my opinion. Peace.